Hello, remember last time we were talking about some of uh, products for, for Boolean expressions and uh, as you remember some of products form was cool because it's easy to evaluate it. I will remind you that uh, when either of the terms equals to one then we can forget about all other terms because we know that the whole expression will equal to one. And we also looked into standard sum of products term where like this one we calculated this one. And it was the same except for in all the terms we had all the variables which made it uh, look exactly like a truth table for once. And here is the truth table we made, right? And, uh, but it's not uh, the only possible way, not the only possible for form, uh, except for sum of products, and of course standard sum of products form. There is another form. Look here. This form is product of sums form. And we know that because we have products here, here, and these products are made of sums. This one, this one, and this one. And uh, you might think, uh, how, how useful is that? This is actually, this form is useful as the sum of products form. And you know, these, all these three expressions, our initial expression that we just took randomly and this sum of, sum of product expression and this product of sums expression they all equal to each other yeah uh, and yet I didn't show you how I get this and I didn't show you how useful is it it is so you remember that the sum of products was useful because if any term equals to one then we don't need to calculate anything any further, we can evaluate the whole expression at once. Say, if a negated to b negated is 1, then the whole thing will be 1, because 1 plus anything in Boolean algebra equals to 1. And now look at the product of some form. In this case, if any of, uh, of terms for example this one, will equal to zero, then because of the multiplication to zero, the whole expression will equal to zero. And that's, uh, that's also pretty useful, right? So we can evaluate this uh, uh, product of some expression, product of sums expression, as easily as sum of product. We can say that if b negated plus c equals to zero, in this case, when this term equals to zero, then the whole expression equals to zero. When this one equals to zero, then the whole expression equals to zero. Right? So it's as easy as sum of products, but it looks really different. Especially after we have dealt with the sum of products form for many videos, and now we have uh, the first one showing that there is another concept, another way of doing th the same things. And you remember, with some of products uh, expressions, we did truth tables and we did Karnam map technique, right? And actually, the same things could be done with the products product of some expression as well. For example, let's look into the truth table. We already have uh, one for this expression because they are all equal this one. And you remember we, uh, we saw that every term in, uh, in canonical sum of products expression uh, was, well, which of the terms, which of the terms corresponded to one line in the truth table. And this line was always equal to one. So we just didn't take into account zeros, 
because if we described the whole thing around once, right, then uh, all other expression, all other cases will equal to zero. This is the case with the sum of products, and we can do the same trick, but not around once. We can do the same trick around zeros using product of sums. So uh, in uh, sum of products, you of course remember that uh, one line, for, kind of for standard form at least, one line uh, where uh, which equals to one corresponded to some uh, expression. And uh, when this expression equals to one, then the whole expression equals to one. And that's how we decided to uh, how we designed truth tables and how we designed kernel maps as well. You remember when we were drawing kernel maps for uh, all our expressions, which were uh, some of product expressions, we were taking into account only once, right? And we didn't take into account zeros. We even sometimes didn't write them on the kernel map. This is because when we took approach of sum of products, we play our game around once. When we make approach around product of sum, then we play around zeros. So uh, it's easy to say, right? So I I want to show you that. For example, let's make uh, sum. Well, no product of sum, product of sums canonical or standard form, standard form for this truth table. For example, you, you of course remember that, uh, uh, you of course remember everything, right? No, you don't. You shouldn't remember everything. But uh, in, in last few videos, maybe in last one, we we saw how one uh, term of the standard sum of products correspond to one line. And uh, the same way you could uh, really make this expression. Yeah, this is uh, a way to make uh, another way of making standard sum of products expression is to take truth table as we did, I think, in the last video and write down uh, one expression for each line that equals to one. Now we do the same thing, but for zeros and for product of sums. And you, as you remember, the product of sums is the same as sum of products, but you play around zeros. Right? <coughs> so, to get some expression, if you want some expression to equal to zero in this case, then we need to design a small term Right, that will uh, equal to zero in ca in this case and in all the cases where uh, which correspond to zero. So and it should be sum of these variables. So look here, we should write down the pattern a plus b plus c plus d, and this uh, this thing will equal to zero in case a plus b negated because you see we need to negate one in order to get all zeros so you remember in this case in the case of uh, uh, some of products these green ones right what we did we wanted to them to equal to one yeah so that the this line coincides uh, with the result which is one in this in this case in case of product of sums we want to make uh, exactly the opposite thing we want uh, the uh, the term equal to zero so if uh, in uh, uh, in sum of products we negated to get ones then in this case in case of product of sums we negate to get zeros so for this case, we'll have a plus b plus c plus d, and we negate b, right? We need to negate this one and this one. So we negate b and d. 
we negate B and D. And then this one, again we have A plus B plus C plus D. In this case we need to negate uh, B and C to get them all to zeros. B and C. Right? And the same thing we'll do with this many lines. Okay, let's do that. A plus B plus C plus D. We negate A because it's 1. We, we want all of them to equal to 0, right? As you remember. And then again, A plus B plus C plus D. We negate A and D. A and D to get all zeros. A plus B plus C plus D. We negate A and C, right? A and C. Then next line again A plus B plus C plus D. We negate A, C and D. A, C and D. Then again A plus B plus C plus D. We negate A and B, right? To have all zeros. And now again A plus B plus C plus D. We negate all except C. Like this. And then the last one, A plus B plus C plus D. We negate everything except the D, D right? To get zeros. And so, as you he see here, we had our... If we sum all the green terms, yeah, then we get s standard sum of product expression. Now, if we multiply all the valid terms, then we'll get standard product of sum expression. So let's let's write it down again. So just to rewrite them, it will be a plus. B, A, it will take time, plus C, plus D, ah, it will take lots of space and lots of time, but anyway, I really want to do that. A, nicely, A plus B negated, I write this one, right, first one, plus C, plus D, then A plus B negated, plus C plus D multiplied by third one A plus B negated plus C negated plus D multiplied by here then we start with this one A negated plus B plus C plus D multiplied by A negated plus B plus C plus D negated by third one, this one, A negated plus B plus C negated plus D multiplied by, oh, yeah, this one, A right negated plus B plus C negated plus D negated. Uh, what shall we do? This one. A negated plus B, is it negated? Yes, plus C plus D, then uh, multiplied by the last two ones, A negated plus B negated plus C plus D negated, multiplied by A negated plus B negated plus C negated plus D, right. So this is uh, standard product of some form of uh, our initial expression. So for this expression we did many things. We did, uh, first of all, we did the sum of products form, then we did standard sum of products form, right? This one. Then what we did we also did standard product of some form, yeah? And I just showed you non-standard product of some, 
but I haven't actually shown you how I got this one. And I left it in order to show how Carnot Maps technique uh, works with product of sums.